Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, January 26th, 2024. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. I'm not sure what I was thinking yesterday when I made up my calendar, but boy, I was busy. Recorded four podcasts. I had a Baltimore at 8.30, Glen Burnie at 10.30, Annapolis at 1.30, and a phoner at 3, and another phoner at 4. So I do have some editing to do. Anyhow, we do have some news, so let's get into it, shall we? Early yesterday morning, the FBI executed several arrest warrants in Eastport and near Clay Street in the city of Annapolis. Some of them involved the use of flashbangs, which some residents thought might be gunfire. The FBI, being the FBI, would not comment, only to say that they were executing warrants in the area. Meanwhile, the Annapolis police and fire departments responded to a shooting at 29 West Washington Street a little bit later on in the morning. One person was shot, but was alert and responsive. Police are still mum on this shooting, the first one of the year, and have not updated their own gunfire dashboard yet. So you want to check back at ionanapolis.net a little bit later on today, and hopefully we'll try to get some answers. The Maryland Higher Education Commission introduced the MHEC One app, which is a streamlined application for state scholarships and grants for the academic year 24-25. Students, including undocumented students eligible for in-state tuition, can apply through the Maryland College Aid Processing System, which is called MDCAPS, and that account's available at mhec.maryland.gov. Now, the commission does administer 27 state scholarship and grant programs annually and has $130 million to give away. We just spoke with the Secretary of Higher Education yesterday, so look for a bonus podcast on that early next week. Maryland's transportation agencies face fiscal challenges impacting road maintenance and repair with over $650 million that has been cut. This is on top of the projected shortfall due to the push for electric vehicles that do not pay a gas tax. It seems that many of the routine maintenance projects like resurfacing roads may be shelved unless the General Assembly can figure a way to funnel some more money to transportation. The Homeowners Expo is coming back to the Byzantium Event Center. It's going to feature over 80 companies and a special guest, plant expert Hilton Carter. And this all goes down on February 24th. They're going to have plenty of seminars that will cover various topics, including real estate and home inspections. The event will also offer a wine and spirit tasting, Greek food and pastries. Tickets are available online and at the door. All right, this weekend, the obvious biggie is the Ravens and the Chiefs, who play at 3 p.m. on Sunday afternoon at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore for the AFC Championship game and a ticket to the Super Bowl on February 11th. As for that Super Bowl, my prediction, it's going to be a rerun of 2013 with the Ravens and the 49ers. Also this weekend, Annapolis Opera marks the 50th year since the Vietnam War's end with Glory Denied performances. Includes talks and a panel discussion. You can find a book talk on the Crownsville State Hospital's history at the library at the Annapolis Mall. Head on over to the Naval Academy Yard and you can catch a Navy men's basketball game. And I think they're playing Loyola this weekend. And also over at Ram's Head on stage, you're going to see a tribute to Joni Mitchell presented by AMFM. You want to be sure to catch our local business spotlight with Alan Geyer, who is the founder of Made Plus Shoes. And as I mentioned, we have a bonus pod with the Secretary for Higher Education and another one with Paul Mercurio, who is a comedian coming to the Rams Head next month. Today on Canines and Crosstracks, we meet Kira, who is one ninth of a litter of puppies, and they are so cute. But they're going to be big puppies. They are great Pyrenees mixes. We do have a video. It was chaos. So Kira was the chosen one to represent the gang on the podcast. Listen to our spot now and then check out ionanapolis.net at noon for our irresistible photos and the video and get all the information on how you can adopt Kira or one of her eight siblings. (music) 
And again, don't forget that we have our daily newsletter that features only the top local news stories of the day. We send it out to your email inbox at 7 p.m. every night. Yes, that is 366 days a year, at least this year. And hey, thanks for Gary for reminding me it is a leap year. It's perfect for keeping up with the weekend's news since we don't release a DNB on Saturday or Sunday. And here is a link right here in the show notes for you. And that's it. Now it's just time to say thank you for listening and putting up with us every day. I do hope that we add some value to your world. And if we do, please leave a review somewhere or tell a friend to give us a listen. We also want to thank our sponsors, Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, and Hospice of the Chesapeake. It's Friday. The weekend is here. And now it is time just to say have a great weekend. Be nice to others. Do something fun and keep shopping local. Other than that, we're going to see you on Monday. Now hang tight because George Young from DCMDVA Weather is here with the only locally forecasted weather report you will find. And of course, canines and cross treks. So do hang around for that. All of that's coming your way in just a minute. Have you ever had to wait to get an appointment at the Apple Store? Skip the wait and the line at the mall by visiting Mac Medics in Severna Park or Lanham where appointments are not necessary. MacMedics is an Apple-authorized service provider. MacMedics services all Apple devices, including broken iPhone screens and batteries, and all without an appointment. Most iPhone repairs are complete the same day and usually within a few hours. MacMedics is also an Apple-authorized reseller and sell Apple products at the same price as the Apple Store. Visit MacMedics in Severna Park or Latham for Apple-authorized sales and service and shop local. Don't wait for help. Call MacMedics at 410-757-MAX, which is 410-757-6227. 410-757-6227. Or visit them online at MacMedics.com. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, January 26th. It'll feel more like spring outside today across the Annapolis region than it does late January, with temperatures staying well above average all weekend as we deal with a bit more rain across the region. Expect highs today in the mid to upper 60s with a small chance for some rain, followed by mixed skies tomorrow with mid or upper 50s 4 p.m. highs with a very small chance for a few additional showers across the area ahead of a likely return of rain Sunday with temps near 50 degrees, 4 p.m. highs as the Ravens play in the AFC Championship game in Baltimore starting at 3 p.m. on Sunday with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line. Okay, that's it for today and this week. This is George Young of DCMDVA Weather. Make it a great day and weekend out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DCMDVA Weather on Facebook and X for regular updates each day, along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info, so you can always stay weather-informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. That can only mean one thing. We're headed to the SPCA of Anne Arundel County with Annapolis Subaru to play with the pups for this week's Canines and Cross Treks. Sponsored by Annapolis Subaru. Higher standards. Oh, welcome back to Canines and Cross Treks. And before we started recording, I had 
we, we've talked about having pure chaos. <laughs> mm-hmm. And had we done what we thought we were going to do, it, w- it would have been nothing but sp- Build mics and barks, and it would have been horrible. So it would have been like that one time when we had like exactly. seven puppies in here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but Kelly has brought the chosen one. The chosen one. Today. I think this was the, the easiest one to uh, to leash up back there. She is cute. Isn't she adorable? I and mean, come on. That was a little crazy. We were trying to just get one out of the puppy little area contained area they all came out at once well, make sure seven. you watch the video that we've got on this yes it's... all seven of them came out and we're trying to push them all back in and they're just pouring out thank you guys for handling that before i got here i really appreciate I it yes. <laughs> but, but this is who's this this is kira this is kira kira k-y-r-a and all of the puppies that came in there was so there was nine puppies and a mom and they were surrendered to us <sighs> And these are Pyrenees mixes? Pyrenees shepherd mixes, but I see a little bit of lab in here somewhere, don't you? I mean, that looks, she looks kind of labby. So we have five males, five males and four females. And this is one of the females. And they're all with really big paws. That's it. So they're they're going to be big. going to be big. Yeah. And then I think I had even mentioned before that when they were all nursing and stuff, mama has now been separated from them. I'm sure she's like, Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> um, so she is recovering from all of this, but, um, they're eating on their own and doing great. And you saw, they're just, they just like climb all over each other. I mean, it oh, is they, like they, crazy. They're hysterical. <laughs> they are, but you know, this is her first time meeting cats and she seems to be doing pretty well. Jimmy is obviously not handling it well, per yeah. usual. I know it's, <laughs> it's all in Jimmy style, you know, yeah. Okay, are these guys available for adoption? They are. They're up on the um, website, and um, we've been accepting apps, and they just aren't ready for adoption, but we wanted to kind of get a little bit of a head start. So they're almost going to be nine weeks, and we just want to make sure they're completely up to date and ready to roll, uh, but we are accepting apps. But for everybody out here, out there that has already put an app in and said, we haven't heard anything, we did purposely make it clear that we're not ready for them to leave the building just yet. And, and they don't need to go to, uh, there's no pairs or anything like that. No. Right? It's one nope. and, and they're all bonded. They're all, all bonded. All nine of them. <laughs> all nine of them. It's either it's nine, be one or special nine person. or nothing. <laughs> this is like winning the lottery. You yeah. get all nine. Oh. I was um, reading an article, Kelly, about talking about that if you want to see how bad the housing crisis is in America, look to the shelters. Oh, yeah. The obviously. animal shelters. They said that there's mm-hmm. just so many people that can't afford to live where they're living. So they're losing their houses, whether they're downsizing and stuff like that. And unfortunately, the shelters are the, quote, beneficiary of that because, I mean, that's, you know, what what are you going to do if yes. you... Yeah, I would say that it's probably, you know, if you're a landlord and you're, you know, looking to rent a, a property, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's the liability to have you know, a pet. So a lot of sure. landlords are not, mm-hmm. you know, accepting. And a- that, and yes, that is so true because now, especially now finances are a big reason. Well, they're, they're saying in the Baltimore area too, that their dogs in particular are being surrendered at uh, pretty high rates. Oh yeah. Um, so that's, um, you know, so Sad. if you've got a room in your house and your heart adopt, why, why wouldn't you? Yes. Why wouldn't you? And we do have our food bank here, which can help for the folks out there that just can't afford to get the, food right now um, or pet supplies. We have our food bank uh, and you can just apply for that online. You also have a spay and neuter clinics that are kicking up. Again. We do, which is great news for, for the community. So on Mondays and Tuesdays, we're now open again to the public for spays and neuters and um, for cats and dogs both. And we're hoping to expand that. But we're just going to start with the Mondays and Tuesdays. And that if you, have a, if you have a cat or dog, that's a really cost effective way to get them spayed or neutered. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's what, like 50 bucks for? Yes. $65 uh, for the cats. For the and, cats. Mm-hmm. And then it's, I think the most is like for a big honking dog, like 125 or something. Yeah, it just varies. And obviously, you know, there's other things that you can get while you're here, whether it's, you know, you need vaccines and things like that. So you can add on. But um, I it's it's so needed and we're just so happy that we're up and running again. Um, so anybody out there that, that needs a cat or dog spade, you know, go online to aacspca.org. And, and you can check it out. Get your, Go to get our your spot and everything else. Yes. So everything those, is done online. So for those that see traffic flowing out of the SBCA on Mondays and Tuesdays, <laughs> right. and you wonder what the hell's going on on Bay Ridge. That's right. In <laughs> That's the mornings right. and then the afternoons for pickup. For drop off and pick up there. That's but right. you do drop them off in the morning and pick them up in yes. the afternoon and yes. you keep all your vets busy in the back. That's right. 
And we do still have our vaccine clinic too, which is twice a month. Right. And that's on right. Saturday mornings. Also another line out the door. <laughs> yes. So one of the things that I would, I mean, we've talked about this before, um, but like I'd highly recommend, like, especially if you're getting a puppy, get insurance. Yeah. Yes. Like mm-hmm. that is one of the things that, you know, we've owned. <laughs> you would know. You know yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, I've been a beneficiary of the insurance <laughs> coverage. Um, I think they're still in the red. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it just takes that, anxiety away of that unexpected vet visit or emergency vet visit that, you know, puts a lot of stress on your finances and your, you know, your decision making when it comes to, you know, keeping an animal. Yeah. Um, but I can't stress enough. I would highly recommend it. Be like owning a, you know, a car without having any warranty. Right. 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 Exactly. You know, you never know what's going to happen. Well, I said, you know, Billy, I am still like on cloud nine about last week's, uh, Operation Warm that you guys did over there at the stand. That was fun, man. That was fun. And then we, you know, of course, we got the snow. Yeah. And, you know, as I was roaming around town, I saw a lot of jackets that I thought were probably a result of that. Oh, Isn't that great? And there's so many different colors and and, uh, That's the thing that really surprised me about the whole thing is that this wasn't a bring your gently used coat, coat drive. This was brand new coats. And just to see the kids light up with like, oh, wow, my, you mean I can get the green one? Yeah. And uh, I mean, there was one that just fought me the tooth and nail because we had little samples out to try on for size. And it happened to be pink. And this kid was like not having any of the Barbie <laughs> stuff. Okay, He's, I, I said, no, no, no. You can pick whatever color. It's just a size. And you just really didn't even want to have that on just for, even for the two minutes to see if it fit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but oh, what a great what a great program. Man. Yeah, it was cool. I especially like the, you know, there was some families that brought in, they probably, I think one family had like four kids mm. and all of them got the same color, oh, <laughs> which was awesome God. in the different sizes. So, so fun. Yeah, That'd be great was, in the mornings. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And they, <laughs> you know, they, they really enjoyed, um, Lucky, Lucky the, the SPCA mascot and, and then Snappy, Snappy. Paws. Pause, pause the cat. Pause, pause the, the cat. cat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was uh, that was a really cool surprise <laughs> for a lot of them because they came in the door. It was cold outside. They come into the gym, the register, and they're like, "Oh my god, it's a giant <laughs> dog and cat." That's right. That was awesome. The, the event. That was. Uh, thank you guys for doing that. And yeah, I'm sure there's four hundred plus children running around Annapolis and Anne Arundel County that are Some thankful fresh to the yeah. Subaru yeah. for. I saw that uh, on the website, the SPCA's website. Again, that's uh, aacspca.org. That. Milo and Lisa are still on there, but they're the most recent sure. ones. So they are. They're yeah. they're fine. I mean, I know they're going to get homes right Absolutely. away. Absolutely. And I saw that my friend Baby Bop made the website. Yes, Baby Bop. Baby Bob's production. on the site. He is. So. And did you see when you were walking in? Yeah. The person there was coming to meet Baby Bop. Yeah. Oh my goodness! It's a big Which, day here. That's awesome. And Baby Bop's looking good. I mean, you guys. I don't know what program you put. A weight program? Yeah. 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 She's got her bikini body ready yeah, for springtime. I think I may have saw a couple of ribs. He's got, the pro- <laughs> He's got the protein powder yeah. shake in the morning. And yeah. A little Work, kale salad Working for out, you know. <laughs> she really does Maybe I should better. hang out here for a little while. I mean, it's <laughs> so funny, though, LBs. because, I mean, when she did come in, remember, she could not even stand up. Yes, she was literally re- on the ground. I remember when she came in and she was, was on the ground, mm-hmm. yeah. unable to move, and I thought she was a corgi. Yeah. Yeah, it, was like, it was a double take. You're yeah. like, what? It's, Does that dog have legs? But, and you know what? And that we have to mention that too to everybody because you think you know that you're doing the right thing. Here's a treat. Here's a treat, and you feed them because they enjoy eating so much. But mm-hmm. my gosh, there's no way she was in so much pain, and she has so much arthritis now. So right. we highly recommend you know keeping them slim and obviously getting exercise and stuff. The well, puppy's ho- waking up, by the way. <laughs> Hopefully, when we come in here next week, she's gone. She could be at home. That'd be cool. That be on awesome. the treadmill. Heart Month is coming up in February, and you guys had the Hearts and Hounds on That's February right. 11th, too. That's right. February at uh, Westfield, Annapolis. And we're going to have, a, we might even have my cross track park there. You know what's crazy right now is that we are, uh, we've got some pretty low rates on cars. Really now? Fin- fin- are you yeah. talking financing or just- finance rates? Yeah. <gasps> Should no. I have waited to buy? No. <laughs> no. 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 You're because fine, you helped you Kelly, helped out the fine. Almond House and the you're Almond fine. Foundation. I did. That's okay. right. Four hundred dollars. Right. Yes. Yeah, so we've got a one point nine percent APR wow. up to forty eight months on the great. Outbacks. Two point nine up to forty eight months on the Foresters. Zero percent 
up to 72 months on the Salteras. Wow. wow. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Hey, That's, John, might be the time to do it. I, I was reading an article in the Wall Street Journal that said that, that rates are coming down now and everything else. It was going on about the presidential election and saying how this is, you know, the rates are coming down and we're going to see, you know, in Maryland's unemployment is the lowest in the nation. And, um, you know, the, the economy is looking good and they're going to see housing prices. Rates come down, the housing prices go up and it looks like, Whatever kind of a recession we may have been in or been teetering on, made a dodge. Uh, we're either out of or avoided. Yeah. So, and when you're telling me like one, you said one point nine percent, one point nine on outbacks. Yeah. That's wow. pretty cool because usually at the levels. beginning of the year, everyone's thinking, "Oh, it's not the time to buy a car," but clearly it is. Well, it is, it's time to it's buy a Subaru. It's a great time to buy a car. Yeah, That's great right. time to buy a Subaru. We got good rates. We're doing some uh, some good discounts, and then you know your trade in is still worth a good amount of money as well. So if you have a you know a vehicle that you're looking to trade, now's the now. Well, obviously, I know we're talking canines and cross checks here, but I was talking to um, somebody about that has an ascent. Mm-hmm. And what they said that they they came from a expedition and whatever the the GM version of the what would be the Explorer size thing, which is the Ascent size. Yeah. And they had both of those. And they said the Ascent is just designed so much better as far as the front end is a little bit lower. Mm-hmm. So you, you sit up high, so you get that high feeling. But you've got the vision there. You're not looking over this giant expanse of hood yeah. to know what's right. I mean, you know what's right in front of you. And there were some other things that they were saying. It's like you know, handy tie downs in the back, like if your seats are folded so you can – you know, tie your stuff so it doesn't, you know, slide. Yeah. like me coming home details. from the grocery store with stuff That's sliding right. across the back seat. It's yeah. all the features. Yeah, that, the Ascents yeah. are awesome. That's my preferred vehicle with, you know, children and animals and whatnot. But it, uh, yeah, I mean, when you're driving it, you don't feel like you're driving like a truck. Well, again, Hearts and Hounds, that's 8 to 11 on Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> Super Bowl and, Sunday. Uh, Ravens, baby. Yeah. That's it. I went to that game last weekend. Woo. Oh, really? It was awesome. You know, I'm so sick and tired of hearing about, is Taylor Swift coming? Of course she's of coming. Of course she's coming. It's her boyfriend. She's not on tour. Yeah. No, but that game last week was, was awesome. Were you inside or out? Inside. I was inside. Oh, or no, okay. no, outside. Outside. Like inside the stadium? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I meant inside. I didn't know. It's like somebody, my friend went and, and he sat in a box and he oh, was like, yeah. oh, it was fine. And I was like, No, no, no. We have different, we have different friends, I mean, Kelly. so it was All like... Right. <laughs> <laughs> But now, if you want to adopt Kira or any of her eight siblings, they are available for adoption to put in the paperwork now, but you can get them probably in a couple of weeks, I would think. Yes, um, that's right. When they're ready to go. And when they're like 20 pounds heavier. <laughs> exactly. What happened She's to the little heavy. puppies you had? <laughs> yeah. They're full grown dogs. Yeah, they're just small dogs now. <laughs> they They grow. Um, but you can catch some pictures of them. Uh, either We've got some here, obviously, but you can go to aacspca.org. And you can also go to Annapolis Subaru at 149 Old Solomon's Island Road or go online at annapolissubaru.com. Uh, you can check your inventory and everything else as well. Yeah. And see what it is. And at 1.9% uh, makes sense to, if you're in the market for a car, to go get it. Now's the time. All righty. Well, we are back next week with, uh, we don't know. We never know where we're coming. It's like a regular Maybe dog. more puppies. More puppies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There one, is one, eight one more to show. Next, one puppy a week one, for the next nine weeks. Yeah, do yeah, these nine right. count against our closing ratio? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get rid of all these dogs soon. Yes, in one week, nine of them. <laughs> well, Kira and her buddies are all available here. Um, they are being kept separate from them. Other yes, dogs. They're in a separate building. Can people, if they've got the applications in, can they come in and see them and yeah, visit? Yeah, if they have an, uh, an appoint, if they have an appointment, um, then we'll absolutely come over and they can come on over. Okay, so the, but you do have to have an appointment to yes, come in and, and visit do. them and stuff. Yes. Like. And be patient, you know. Yeah, be, be, patient. be patient. We got to make sure they're ready to ready to ready to roll. That's right. Right. And be prepared if they open up that that oh gate. My God. That <laughs> like gate. They all flood out. It's, <laughs> already. Well, we will see you guys next week. See you next week. Thank you. Coping with advanced illness can be overwhelming, and determining the best options for a loved one isn't always so easy. But here at Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, we want you to know you do have a choice. You can choose exactly who provides the care and the type of care you receive, and it's your decision when and where your loved one receives that care. We have served our community, family, and friends for over 40 years. We are there when you need us. 
Learn how we can help at hospicechesapeake.org. You've been listening to the I on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, iamannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at I on Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.